Hi guys, um, gonna do a quick speed test on my uh, late 2011, early 2012 13 inch MacBook Pro. This is the uh, base model. It's got uh, an i5 uh, processor at 2.4 gig, gigahertz, sorry, it came with a standard 4 gig of RAM which is now updated to 8 gig of uh, Corsair 1333 megahertz RAM, which does add a nice little speed boost, especially when you're um, multitasking with different applications, so it does help. Uh, it's got a 500 gig hard drive. And then obviously the Intel uh, HD 3000 graphics, which is the uh, built-in GPU on the i5 processor. So, I mean, overall, it's a nice little spec. Uh, didn't, I didn't really have the money to go for anything else, but for the money I paid for it, it's, it's, a, it's a brilliant little computer. It, it does perform. Um, just some quick news. My dad is getting about two weeks ago, or well, literally on the release date, actually. He ordered the brand-new 15-inch MacBook Pro with a retina display. It's got an i7, 2.7 gigahertz, I think he's got, 8 gig of RAM, 512 gig SSD, which is going to be nice, and obviously uh, an NVID NVIDIA GPU, I can't remember it, with obviously the gig of um, dedicated graphic memory, which is going to be quick. So I'll do some, I'll do an unboxing and some reviews of that when it comes. I'm looking forward to that as well, even though it's not mine. But anyway, in this video, I thought I would um, give a quick speed test and literally open up all of these applications down here. These are my main ones. These aren't all the applications I've got on on um, my Mac, but they're, they're they're the main ones. So I'm going to open them up um, and just basically, literally, let the camera roll for however long it takes to open them all up fully. Uh, I'll keep a note if I can of the CPU temperature as well. At the moment we are idle and it's 36 degrees. The CPU, the battery is 24, and the hard drive is 25 degrees. So let's get going. I will open up. Finder, Safari, App Store, iTunes, Word, Office, sorry, Outlook, Excel, PowerPoint, Preview, oh, bit of stutter there, iPhoto, another stutter, FaceTime, oh dear, Launchpad, oh, it's, it's, it is freezing a lot there, uh, as a password storing program, just Keeper, it is freezing a lot now, iCal, DVD player, VLC, Skype, QuickTime, Photo Booth, Chrome, uh, Firefox, and GarageBand. There we go. So I've opened up all the applications now. You can see the ones that are still bouncing. So this is the standard 500 gig hard drive. I think it's 5,200 RPM. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think that's the speed. So it's obviously it's not the quickest drive in the world. Um, okay, five. Oops, I haven't downloaded Firefox. Well, I haven't opened Firefox for a while. So it's all coming up now. It is taking a while. Obviously, compared to an SSD, this would be all done by now. Uh, there's DVD player. So what we've we got left, we've got iPhoto, Skype, uh, GarageBand, by the looks of it. So still going. Three thirty-three, three thirty-four. There you go. There we go, there's FaceTime. We're still opening up, what else have we got? Let's see if I can get back to the... CPU temp, I'll have to go into... Just trying to get the CPU temp back up, I can't find it because all the apps that are open. There we go. So CPU at the moment is 61 degrees. The battery is 24 and the disk is 26, and we've still got Skype to open. There we go, that's garage bands just open, so Skype is the only one bouncing. So obviously this is taking quite a while. I mean, it has helped with the 8GB RAM before this, I'd still be, wouldn't even have half the applications open at the moment, so it is helping. You know, the, the extra RAM has helped, and it's so much cheaper, I got it for about 25 quid, I think, 25 pounds from eBuyer. The, uh, an 8 gig kit from Corsair, which from Apple would cost me 200 quid, I think, 200 pounds. So there you go, there's iPhoto. Uh, I don't think Skype's opened yet. No, oh, it's kind of stopped opening, which is strange. That's very strange. There's no, it's stopped bouncing. There's no light underneath it to suggest that it's open, but it's not opening at all. It's very strange. Anyway, my CPU has gone up now. Highest then was 76. 
battery 24, disc 27. So they have obviously the CPU's gone up a lot, the battery and the disc have gone up a little bit. I mean, oh, there you go, Skype's bouncing still. There you go, finally Skype's open. So, for the majority of the programs, they actually open quite quick, but I think that's down to the RAM as opposed to the hard drive. And obviously, if it did have an SSD, this would be super quick. I'm thinking of upgrading. I mean, I can't afford. I, I need at least a 500 gig, gigs worth of storage space. Obviously, that would be ideal as a SSD, but I can't afford a 500 gig SSD. So, I'm thinking about getting uh, a hybrid drive, which is obviously SSD and hard drive. It's got an SSD cache. Which are, I think for 500 gigs, around about 80 90 pounds here in the UK. So I'm thinking about doing that, which I think would increase my performance dramatically. Um, so, yeah, there you go. I mean, that probably took about three minutes to open all those applications. You can probably tell better. Um, but, yeah, that wasn't too bad, to be honest. I obviously never open up all my applications at once, I only open up five or six at the same time. And I never have any problems with freezing or slowing down, especially now I've got the extra RAM. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a couple more videos on this. I'm going to do a cold boot up uh, and time it. Um, and then when my dad gets his new 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro, I will do some um, comparisons with this MacBook. I'll do some reviews, some unboxings, etc. Uh, some different videos on that, definitely, because I'm going to have some fun with that. I'm also getting uh, Apple TV, I've got that on order, and a 2 terabyte time capsule. So I'll definitely be doing some unboxings for those, and they will be on the channel within the next week or so, I think, once I've uh, finished editing them. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps anyone that's looking to either get the, this MacBook, which is still available, the new MacBook, to help you decide. This is quick enough, I must admit. You know, I mean, yes, it would be nice to have a higher spec or even the 15-inch Retina, but this is this will do for me. And it's the 13-inch is nice because it's easy to carry around. So sorry, that was a voice bounce there. I've, I've been shouting all day. Um, so yeah, if you've got any questions about what I've just done or anything, just uh, post below, um, and I will have some more videos on the channel soon. So don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos and I'll speak to you soon.